Amy, you take on Hibernian in the, the Scottish Cup semi-final on Sunday. Just how much are all the girls looking forward to what's going to be a fantastic challenge? Yeah, it's a great occasion for the club and I think for all the girls and it's testament to all the hard work that they've put in throughout the season. I think we've had one of the toughest draws in terms of going through the Scottish Cup. We played against uh, Stirling and then Aberdeen, so we're the only team that's played against other SWPL1 teams, which will hopefully stand us in good stead going into Sunday. The fact you've had that, that hard run, does that give you more confidence going into this game against, as we know, what's a very strong Hibs team? Yeah, I think Hibs will be a, a real t task for the girls, actually. We've not played them since I came in in May, so it'll be really interesting for the girls to be able to gauge themselves and the progression that they've made going through. And obviously the added incentive is that there's a final at the other end of it. So. Since, since you've known about the, the semi-final and it being such a big game, has it been hard maybe to keep your focus on the league matches with you know such a, a big incentive to come? Yeah, and no, we just we always say to the girls we need to take one game at a time. And we knew last week going in against a really strong Glasgow City side that that was our opportunity to be able to see how far away we are from being closer to the top, and we're closer now than we've ever been. And that means that we'll take a lot of confidence from the Glasgow City game and we'll push as hard as we can to be able to get a result on Sunday. Yeah, that Glasgow City game, I know you lost 2-0, but you were pretty pleased with it, the overall performance and the way that you competed with Glasgow City. Yeah, I think that the girls now begin to, have began to believe in themselves more. They've really began to work together as a unit. I think Glasgow City spoke really kindly of the team after that, which will give the girls a lot of confidence as well going into the match. And, it's definitely possible for the team to be able to compete at, at that level, so we're we're excited. What's what would it mean to, to yourself and to the club to, to be able to lead the, the, the girls' team to the, the Scottish Cup final this season? It would be a fantastic achievement, I think, for everyone that's involved in the club for all the hard work that goes on behind the scenes. More so for the girls, I think that the fact that they train four nights a week, they give up so much of their time, and to be able to get a return for that not only you know to be consistent in the league but to get to a cup final would would be great for them all and i know i might be getting ahead of myself here but in terms of potentially winning a trophy that would mean a hell of a lot to, to everyone here at the football club yeah and i think it's in our sights whether it's slightly early for us or not but certainly moving and looking forward to the future it's certainly a bright one within the, the women's side now the youth players that are coming through are really really good they've got a lot of potential and uh, first team players are improving all the time so hopefully it's not too far away just finally how would you assess the, the improvement there's been since, since you've taken over in may i think it's been great the girls have been really consistent they've been hard working and training they've really committed to every aspect of the club we've brought some new players in which can upset the dynamic sometimes but they've really got a great unity and spirit and everyone makes it a really enjoyable place to be which is so much easier when you're together quite a lot of the time four nights a week and it's been really positive the improvement that the team have made but we know that we have to keep doing that